Hi, my name is Robert. I'm going to show you how you can build a dynamic link that is able to pass multiple elements as parameters to external applications. You can use this feature to create links that would pass multiple customer IDs to your CRM application or multiple product IDs to your ordering application. In my example, I will pass multiple names to Google search. Creating a link that would pass a single element is enabled out of the box. Passing multiple elements requires a small workaround. This is the final uh, solution. So you see when I select Alice, uh, I can search, I can, uh, the, the link to search in Google for Alice is enabled. When I click on this, it takes me to Google and passes Alice you see in the URL. If I click on Charlie Brothers, it's the same. Uh, so the trick here is that I want to multi-select a few of them and click on them and pass multiple uh, elements. Okay, let's uh, start. We need to create a new metric. And we will use a concat ag function here. Let's clear this one, let's add this one, and I will uh, pass company uh, as a parameters to this function. That would be my concat ag uh, metric. Save. Uh, I need to change one thing that the value list would be actually description, not ID. Okay. Now I need to create a metric that would be, uh, contain these uh, multiple elements and uh, display it as, uh, a, as an URL. So again, a new metric. Uh, this one would be just regular concat. Uh, but what um, I'm going to concat is uh, uh, URL like, like this. So in this URL, I need to replace X with the metric I created previously. Let's switch the function. Uh, Editor, okay, let's clear and start from uh, function editor. So my first string would be the first part of this string I've created. My second string would be my metric, which is this one. Then second part, then um, let's choose, pick this one for a moment. If we switch here, I need to replace this one again with the metric I created. Okay, validate, it's valid. So this is multi for elements link. Okay, I will add a new uh, grid here and I will drag and drop my metric. Uh, first of all, this must be a target to this, so I need to do the following. Let's see if it works. Yes, it works. You see multiple selections, multiple selections here. What I need to do is to uh, hide uh, the title bar. Uh, I need probably to enlarge 
the font to center it and I, I need to hide this uh, header which is here okay let's see Dave and Dave and Alice if I click on this one I move to Dave and Dave and Alice that's it thanks for watching <laughs>